Hi, Ty Holloway with Holloway Bros Fishing. Today we're tying a tilt wing green drake. Uh, the green drake is a sta staple hatch here on the McKenzie, uh, Metolius, and the Deschutes. Happens in late May to early June, and the trout love them. Uh, green drake's a big mayfly, one of the first big mayflies that they see of the season, kind of after the March brown. But it's a, it's a big meal for them, and they, they love them. Uh, this tilt wing green drake is a high floating, high visibility fly that we use a lot. Uh, especially on the McKenzie where uh, there's turbulent water and we need a high visibility, high floating dry fly. Uh, one of our favorite green drake patterns, it can be, this uh, pattern can be kind of tied in any mayfly size and color uh, all the way down to blueing olive, but a uh, good March brown pattern too in the appropriate size and colors. I uh, hope you like the video and uh, tie a few up for yourself. Thanks. I'm doing a uh, tilt wing green drake today. Uh, the hook is a TMC 100 on a uh, size 8. And the uh, thread we've got here is just uh, some 10 out uh, brown vivas. I've got a uh, little nice thread base here, like I've got. We're going to do uh, our, our tail. It's just going to be some uh, dyed brown deer hair. Stacked it here. Really an important part of this fly for me is its uh, uh, flotation where we use it here on the McKenzie. Uh, it can have kind of pretty, pretty uh, turbulent spots so we need a, a high floating visible dry fly. And green drakes, they actually have a pretty short uh, or, or a their tails can be just kind of uh, not a whole lot to them. So that this tail for me is more about flotation than actually representing what's on an adult green drake. So I'm doing pretty pretty loose wraps here, kind of up the uh, up the body, just like that. We're gonna dub over that. That's also gonna add to our flotation. about three quarters of the way up the up the shank there tie that off we can do some kind of tighter wraps here on the way back right about there I'm gonna do a dubbed body here this is a, a blue wing olive a microfine dubbing by from hairline I like that like that deer here going up the uh, all the way up the body adds a little bolt to the fly and, and flotation the green drakes are uh, quite the meal for trout they're pretty uh, Pretty substantial body on them, so we want to we want to kind of represent that in the fly. Real, I like a real tight rope here on the thread of our dubbing. And we can get kind of more precise with the taper. And the tighter that is, the better flotation we get as well. So I'd rather just kind of keep, keep adding dubbing as we need it rather than trying to put a big... Uh, thick rope of dubbing on there and
a little bit more. We get a we get a really good green drake green drake hatch here on the McKinsey uh, in the in kind of the late spring end of May early June. Uh, takes real kind of specific conditions for the hatch to be uh, prolific. I need kind of a drizzly drizzly day in uh, in June or late May. Um, but when it does happen, uh, we get a really good hatch of them and and the, and the um, for you know a couple hours there in the afternoon the, the dry fly fishing can be can be very good the upper Mackenzie especially is where the the hatch is best um, and the upper Mackenzie has pretty turbulent water um, we need kind of a high floating buoyant dry fly um, and so I like this tilt wing with the with the deer hair tail uh, just a good buoyant mayfly representation so I'm gonna uh, I've gone about two thirds of the way up the shank with our uh, blue and olive color. It's a good representation of the green drake. For the rest here, I'm gonna do a peacock eye stab. So we're going to dub, we're going to create our body entirely here. And then it's just going to be a matter of setting the wing, adding the hackle, tying the hackle off, and then our fly is complete. Pretty quick little dry fly. So just like that, I'm going to tie in my hackle. Here I have uh, just a, a grizzly uh, dyed olive saddle hackle. I like the hackle for these uh, for these parachutes to be maybe a little bit bigger than uh, what would you, we would use if we were uh, just palmering it. Uh, we like uh, they're kind of representing the legs, but they're also adding uh, adding to the buoyancy. So the further out from the fly they are, the more water or the more displacement there is, and the better buoyancy. So I'm going to tie this uh, in by the stem and kind of on top. We just want to be able to, when we start wrapping it, the the fibers to kind of lay flat and go around around the parachute, just like that will be fine. For my for our wing here, just uh, some white uh, some white tailed deer, natural color not dyed you could could do a dyed dyed wing uh, but i like uh i like the natural because a little bit more visibility i think that, that i don't think the fish really see the wing so the 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 color of the wing isn't really imperative uh to the to the fishiness of the fly but it, it does help uh, our visibility you know for for us to be able to see it so you see um you know like a black wing is, it looks good but it's kind of tough to see once it's actually on the water um I like a uh, like just a natural colored wing up here, just for just for visibility's sake. So I'm gonna stack this. We've got maybe just like a half of, or maybe a third of a uh, a third of a pencil in diameter of hair. And this fly might be. Uh, Overdressed for for some people's taste, uh, but but I'm really trying to make it uh, make it buoyant and have a high flotation for for where we uh, where we use it here on the McKenzie. So yeah, there you have it. That's our wing. I want this wing to be about the length of the body, so I'm measuring that right about there. I'm going to transfer hands. I'm going to clip this to 
just beyond where I anticipate tying it in. I'm going to set that on top. We can twist our thread to the right and that's going to lay it back over our thumbs, over our pointer finger and our thumb, making it easier to tie in. One loose wrap and the second wrap right on top of that one. Just like that. And we like that nice puff of uh, tag ends there. That, that adds to the durability or to the flotation as well, rather. So now we're going to Now we're going to wrap our hackle forward. Kind of pulling it tight in there. Oops. Pulling it tight in there with each wrap. Yeah. I like, I kind of like the shiny side of the hackle down, but that's real personal preference. Two or three wraps in there. Tie it off. Clip our tag end off of the of the hackle. So there's our uh, tilt wing, tilt wing green, green drake with a uh, deer hair tail, deer hair wing, dub body, pretty quick easy tie and good representation of a uh, mayfly pattern. You can uh, adjust the color and size to uh, imitate any mayfly that's uh, uh, hatching and uh, great dry fly for uh, turbulent water where you need high flotation and high visibility. That was the Tilt Wing Green Drake. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to Holloway Bros Fishing if you enjoyed that video. And uh, hit that like button. Thanks.